Hello ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining again today. We've got another tech review for you. I must admit I am particularly excited about today's review and it is because as a streamer, this is a product I have had my eye on for a long time. Um, like three years a long time and I've just never been down on it until now. But I have finally gone out and gotten myself an Elgato Stream Deck. And uh, this is, uh, you know, obviously a versatile tool for anybody who creates content, does live streaming. Uh, and I mean, it really it goes beyond that. You can use it for other things other than content creation and streaming as well. So without further ado, we're going to go unbox it now. gonna be um I expected it to be slightly larger than this I'm gonna be completely honest all right so for the sake of time, I've gone ahead and sped things up, but the first thing that we're doing here is adding eight scene buttons, followed by three multimedia buttons, followed by three source buttons, and a second page button. Now we're organizing the multimedia buttons. And finally, we're adding custom animated icons to each button. Each of these first eight buttons will serve to transition me from scene to scene in my stream, while the three multimedia buttons will obviously go to the previous track, play and pause, or the next track, and the three source buttons will each serve to either show or hide my tip jar, my second camera, or my chat box. The remaining button simply brings me to a second page. Now that everything is set up, let's give it a test. And what's better than one Elgato Stream Deck, you ask? Why two, of course! So now that we've completed one full screen on the first Stream Deck, I've gone ahead and hooked up the second Stream Deck, and have added a second screen to that as well already. So we're gonna just jump right ahead and look into both features of each Stream Deck that I have set up for my particular interests. All right. So as you can see, I've got both stream decks set up right next to each other. We're going to go ahead and focus here on the second stream deck. So the first button on this second stream deck is a record button. So that's going to record out of my stream straight to the hard drive. The second button here is going to clip a minute of stream to the uh, chat. The third button here is going to create a stream marker. The fourth button is going to uh, shout out somebody in chat. 
fifth button is going to run a 90 second commercial. So here's where things get interesting. So these two are nano leaf integrated buttons. So if I press this, my nano leaf panels above my computer turn on. And just again, like if I press it again, they shut off. Now these nano leaf panels over here are already on. So if I go ahead and I press that button, those nano leaf panels are gonna shut off. And turning back on. Now I personally think that that is a very, very cool integration. So YouTube's API also has an integration here so that it can show me how many subscribers I currently have. These two buttons are gonna be used for hosting and rating. This button is going to start or stop my stream. This is my left ear audio. It's a little digital audio meter, master audio, right ear audio, and then finally, the amount of viewers that I currently have on my stream. I think this is an awesome setup. Not to mention the absolutely cool Synthwave 80s laser grid animated background that I was able to get my hands on for these stream decks. Well, ladies and gentlemen, these things are pretty cool. Um, I must admit it is an absolute terrible shame that uh, I'm like three or four years late to finally getting my hands on one of these, let alone two of these. But um, I am very happy that I was able to get one, uh, let alone two. Now that I have my hands on two, can't wait to use them for streaming. Um, and the other thing that I wanted to mention real quick is that while this, this is a product that is geared towards streamers, it is a, essentially a multimedia keyboard. So it does not have to necessarily just be used in conjunction with streaming. You can literally assign macros and hotkeys to any one of those buttons. So if you want, you could perhaps use it for editing in Adobe Premiere or for uh, quick, quick uh, keys and quick actions in a program like ZBrush or something like that. Um, but I just wanted to mention that while the product is obviously a stream deck and totally geared towards streamers, you can use it for other functions and macros and hotkeys within Windows. So that's something worth mentioning as well. Uh, one of the big questions I'm sure that I'm going to get as well is why did I get two stream decks rather than just get the one big 32 key stream deck? Well, I have a very good answer for that. Uh, currently, I have both of the stream decks hooked up to my streaming PC. However, um, let's say that I want to have one of those stream decks hooked up to my gaming PC and one of them hooked up to my streaming PC and have the second one, the one hooked up to my gaming PC, perhaps have uh, game macros or something else recording to my gaming PC, you know, whatever the case is. I can't have one 32 key Elgato stream deck hooked up to two different computers, but I can have two 16 key Elgato stream decks hooked up to two computers. I do not currently but the possibility and the potential is there if I would like to do so. So that is why, that's the answer as to why I got two 16 key stream decks instead of one 32 key stream deck. So that's gonna conclude this video. Um, these things are awesome. Uh, Elgato, you guys have made a really solid product. Um, you guys make very solid products as always. Ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know I am doing a good job by giving it a thumbs up. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time.